Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to the Luxury Home Channel here on YouTube. Today we're in Orlando, Florida. It's an extremely sunny day. The sun's right in my eyes right now, as you can probably see. We're gonna look at this home behind me. It's a very modern contemporary home and the actual home has five bedrooms, four and a half baths, and is 3,860 square feet of living. Now this home here is located in the Dr. Phillips area, which is one of the most desirable areas in the central Florida area. This home is a model home that we're going into. You can build it yourself and actually be on the lake. There's a couple lakes here behind us, or you can, this one here, this one will be a, a for sale pretty soon. And what, we're what we've been told is that the asking price is gonna be about the $1.1 million range. Don't quote me on that, that may change. It may be 1.2, it may be 1.0, I'm not too sure, but the actual sales rep says it should be around the $1.1 million range for this house when it does go for sale. And it should go for sale soon because these, this community is selling out really, really fast. I can see behind the camera all the actual homes that are being built. They're putting up very, very quickly because of this actual location very desirable area. So let's look at the home. So behind me are these two doors. Now these two doors here are actually the office doors, being that this is a model home. Um, they do use this for the office for the actual sales reps. They would convert this back into an actual garage. They're both a single car garage and single car garage. So you have two single car garages and then you know remove this actual landscaping and put in the paved driveway going all the way through. Now, of course, you notice the actual house itself. It's extremely modern looking with the type of roof line it has. It's not your traditional up and down roof that you usually have. It's got the slanted roof going on, which is a really cool look, very popular right now, actually. So, and as we come in, we come through this beautiful landscaping. Of course, if you want an interest in a model home, let us know, contact us, and we'll make sure you get put on a list so that when they do have it available, we get notified. But we come here to the first front patio area. Very nice area with some nice metal railing. You can sit out here and enjoy the neighborhood and enjoy people walking along the sidewalk and get to know your neighbors. And of course, behind me is this nice upgraded door with this privacy glass going all the way through. It's a very large door. It's probably about an eight foot door as we go in. So let's go ahead and go in and we'll show you the rest of this home. So see you in there. All right, welcome into this beautiful home. So as I close the door behind me, I'll talk a little bit about what we see. So below me are some nice engineered hardwood floors with some uh, very beautiful design in them. It's a brown, dark brown, light brown color. Definitely got a lot of different texture going on there. And then of course above me is a chrome chandelier with some little crystals going around it. And then to my left, this is something they do in a lot of the model homes. So something if you're looking for something neat to do with your own home, you might be able to do something like this. All they did was take wallpaper or like a designer wallpaper, put the wallpaper up and then they woodwork, they use woodwork around it with a different color woodwork to the wall, which really you know, makes the home pop as soon as you walk in. It's a huge, huge, looks like a picture, but obviously it's not a picture, it's just a wallpaper. So over here to my right is the office. They have an office area where you can sit here, do all your office work behind this chair. And then of course, if you see people coming, knocking on your door, you have the windows right there so you can see who's coming and visiting. They have these three windows back here for light. And then of course the wallpaper on the wall. So let's go ahead and go right and go down the hallway. And the first stop that we have is the half bathroom. So just a pretty basic half bath here with a pedestal sink and a toilet. So this is great for guests. So when guests come, you have that here. We also have a coat closet behind this door. So that would be just, you know, people come and want to hang up their coats. You have that also. So as we come back through here, we come to the living area, very open space. The first thing we have is a dining room currently set up for eight people. Obviously it could be easily with 10 if you put a chair on either, either side. We have a chandelier above, and then we also have speakers throughout this house as well. So if you buy this model home, you'll get it with those actual speakers as well. Sometimes they actually sell it with the furniture. So if you're interested in the furniture, do let us know, and we can definitely inquire about that. Here's the family room. So the family room's all set up, um, has a nice TV, uh, has the surround sound speakers with three in the front, two in the back. They even have the security cameras here. And the nice thing about buying a model home, you get the security cameras included. I actually bought a model home. So uh, downstairs in the downstairs of my home, we have the security cameras all hooked up on all the uh, entrances of the houses. So that's a little extra bonus. And then of course, here is the heart of the home, which is the kitchen. Very, very beautiful the kitchen. I love the colors. Everything here is contemporary modern look. So as I come into the kitchen, you see that we have this light gray cabinet work going all the way up to the ceiling. Over to my right, when we start here, it's gonna be a pantry. Now this pantry is a walk-in pantry where you can walk in and it does go 
back quite far. Right now it has some shelving here, but you can definitely add shelving all the way around there if you wanted to, to get a little bit more space for a pantry, but it's already a pretty big pantry as you see it. So we come through here, we do have our refrigerator, and then we do have the oven and microwave combo. Um, and also some storage in between. And then we come to our main area. So we have this beautiful granite countertop. It matches those cabinets of that gray color. I think it's a perfect color granite countertop. And then we have hexacon backsplash tiles that have like white and gray marble look to it going all the way out to the ceiling here in the middle. And of course the stove top, which is a KitchenAid stove top. That's one of the top end appliances with a KitchenAid. Um, vent where it gets vented out as well. On my other side, we do have the dishwasher. Um, and then we have this nice sink. It's a very large stainless steel sink with this definitely highly upgraded um, faucet that you can pull out and do also, you don't need that separate, um, you don't need that separate spray thing. You have the faucet and the spray thing all in one. So that's a pretty neat feature. So plenty of cabinet spaces and storage areas over here. And then behind me is the breakfast nook. Um, so it's set up for six pieces. It's bigger, bigger than most dining rooms. They have it all decorated. They have, if there's a Josh out there and an Anna, if there's a couple out there named Josh and Anna, this house is calling for you because they have Josh and Anna set up here. They also have other people's names all the way around. We go, won't go through all those because it'd be very difficult to find not only a Josh and Anna, but all the other people down there as well. So pretty neat little feature there. And of course, if you're not Josh and Anna and you like this house, I'll make sure we can make different ones of your names on there as well. So you're all taken care of. So we're gonna go check out the bedroom. There's only one bedroom downstairs, which is a guest bedroom. It's right down this hallway. So we come through here and we transition to carpet in this room, but it's a very spacious bedroom. We got a queen size bed, plenty of space. We do have a walk-in closet. And um, so you can put all your clothes here, plenty of space there. And then behind the camera is actually like a little indent where you can put a dresser in. So lots of extra space here. Definitely a nice size spare bedroom. Now I go down this hallway, what I'm gonna see is we're gonna have a door that goes out to the pool. So, and of course, if you get this one here, the pool is obviously included and all this nice landscaping is already full, uh, filled in. So it'd be nice and private back here. So if you're looking for that privacy, um, this may be a good one. They have palm trees and other types of greenery out there. Looks absolutely beautiful. We'll see that later in the video. We'll take a tour out there, but we come this direction and this will be the pool bath. We do have this nice cabinet here. Also the grays that match the kitchen, but a different countertop, a nice light white color. Looks like Corian here. And of course a sunken sink with a faucet, mirror and lights, toilet behind me. And then we do have a shower behind the door. Shower has some nice ceramic tiles on the, on the floor. And then it also goes up a little bit above the length of the shower. So that is the pool bath. So what do you do is follow me this direction. I'll show you the rest of the house. Now, if you've watched this video so far, if you can do me a huge favor, if you like this type of content, do me a huge favor, hit like on YouTube. We'd definitely appreciate that. Also subscribe to the channel, whether you're looking for a new home in Florida or just want some ideas, decorating ideas for your house, my channel will be a really good channel to follow and subscribe to. So as we come here, this is the actual stairs going up. We're gonna go up and take the rest of it. But before we do that, we see that the stairs are nice upgraded wood stairs, nice dark, dark brown color color and then the railings that's similar color it looks like a stainless steel slash gray color going up so and then as we go up it actually changes and you'll actually see the railings which have metal wires going through them definitely a modern look throughout this whole house so i'll meet you up there and we'll show you the rest of the house all right so here we are on the second floor so as i come up here to the landing uh, the first thing is to my left like behind the camera is the actual primary bedroom and also laundry room we'll show you that in a minute but we're gonna go down this hallway first here on the wall, they have some really nice built-in shelving. So if you buy the specific one, you'll be able to put all your little knickknacks here on the shelving. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to the bedroom. So going here to my left, this will be bedroom number three. So as we come in here, they have this one all decorated about football. So they have TD for touchdown and they do have a walk-in closet. As you can see, also a very nice spacious bedroom, sort of like the one downstairs. All the bedrooms in here are actually very reasonable in the size, are actually pretty spacious on size. So this one does have a Jack and Jill bathroom. So we come this direction and we see that we have the cabinets. That, now the cabinets also match the kitchen cabinets, that gray color. We have that Corian countertop and also we have dual sinks. Now over to my right is a door that opens and closes. So you can close that if you someone's here brushing their teeth or you can open it up if someone needs to take a shower. They can open up and you have an actual tub and shower there with some ceramic tile going all the way up a little bit above the shower head. Now, if we continue to go down through the Jack and Jill, we come to bedroom number four. 
This one's all about like high-end shoes. Jimmy Choo Shoes of London, whatever. I'm not into designer brand, so I guess that's a designer brand, but if it isn't, I just embarrassed myself probably. But anyway, here is bedroom four. We do have a walk-in closet also in this direction. And also we have, this is the front view of the house. So from here, I actually can see the lake across the street. So, which is a nice little view. So let's go ahead and go this direction. And we're gonna come out to, first of all, we're gonna come out to the entrance here. So this, if I'm looking down, I look right down at the entrance. Um, the entrance door and also that chandelier that we saw at the beginning and then behind me is the loft it's a nice little loft area so if your family want to hang out play games this would be a place to do it um, nice tv on the wall or you can put a pool table here foosball table whatever you like we do have the speakers above me still so that's actually playing music that we should have probably turned off so we don't get a copyright strike. So keep, let's keep coming and get away from that music real quick. And then we come to bedroom number five. So this one's actually set up not as a bedroom, but this is like a display area of how energy efficient this builder is. And this builder is a very energy efficient. It's one of my favorite builders as far as a semi-custom pro uh, production builder in the Orlando area. And they also build in other areas as well, Florida that we do cover. Um, but you can, they give you different examples of how their windows work, how their lights work, how, what sort of savings it has. I mean, back in the day when I was growing up, we only had this choice. Yearly cost was $220 and now with the LED is down to 45 bucks. It's a pretty amazing energy saving. And then they also do spray foam insulation. So they don't do this pink stuff that you typically see or, or this other stuff that I don't see that often. I see a lot of this pink stuff most of the time. And you can see how both this it still allows the wind to come through, but with the foam insulation, it keeps it nice and sealed, sort of like a cooler. It works how like an igloo cooler works. This one does also have a closet, walk-in closet over in this direction. Now, going across, this has a bathroom that it can share with the people that go to the loft, or it could be its own private um, bathroom, but we do have that same color cabinet, also the Corian countertop and sink. We do also have a toilet and also the same sort of tub and, and tile work that we saw in the other uh, bathroom. So let's go ahead and go across and take you to the primary. The primary suite's amazing. So if you've stayed this far, do me a huge favor, smash that like button, and then you get to actually see what I think is the best area of this, which is the primary bedroom, which is that direction. But before we go there, let's go right real quick and show you the laundry room. This one has some nice built-in cabinets, washer and dryer set up uh, so you can uh, wash, dry, and fold. We learned that the other day in the other house where it said wash, dry, and fold on the uh, actual wall. So it gives you a little instructions on how to do laundry. Um, we do have a towel closet, linen closet there. And then we come into the primary bedroom suite. This is huge. So my daughter, who's actually behind the camera, said that this is what she wants for her whole house. Like she wants to make this into like a kitchen and she, this is plenty of space for her whole house, a like kitchen and a living room. And then she put her bedroom back there. But as you can see, we have a king size bed, tray ceilings above me, speakers throughout, very, very spacious, one of the biggest primary bedroom sort of uh, in the million dollar price range. It did win an actual prize in the Parade of Homes for the most outstanding feature. I would think that this would actually qualify for that. We do have a sitting area there, which we'll show you in just a second. But before we do that, let's go ahead and go into the primary bathroom. Now the primary bathroom does have these French doors that open and close so you can don't laugh at me behind the camera there. You can open and close those like that. And then it comes into the actual bathroom. So we have a little bit different bathroom here. We do have the same color cabinets, but the actual granite countertop has this really nice design. It's beautiful design throughout, a little bit more uh, dark colors in it than the other ones we saw. We do have the sink and also light fixtures are similar. The tub is right in the middle um, of the two sinks. Very nice, huge tub, plenty of space. Should I, should I see if I, yeah, this is definitely, definitely big enough tub for me. So it should be big enough for most people. Um, we do have the shower on the other side. Um, the shower has some beautiful tile work going up and then also the actual design tile, um, designer tile on the middle really goes with the actual, the bigger tiles throughout. So on the other side is gonna be the other sink. And then we have a closet behind me, which is as big as some bedrooms. As you can see here, you have plenty of space for all your clothes. Someone can have one side, another person can have the other side, depending on how many clothes that you each have. So, and then the actual water closet is right behind the shower, um, also um, in this behind the separate door here. So let me go ahead and take you over to the sitting area. So this is part of the primary bedroom suite. We have our own little sitting area. They have lounge chairs here. So you have lounge chairs in your 
bedroom where you can lounge off, read a book, watch TV, do whatever you want. And then look, this is a surprise that you probably didn't see originally. We have a sliding glass door here that you can open up and it goes off to a balcony. So let's go out to this balcony. So you have a nice private balcony here. So in the morning you can come out and drink your cup of coffee or in the evening if you want to have a nice little cup of hot chocolate, you can do that here too, or your nightcap. And then it looks over the pool now has these nice railings, also metal railings that really go with that modern and contemporary look that we've seen throughout the house. And then I'm looking below and what I see below me is going to be the spa with some really nice tile work around the spa. And of course the pool has a little tanning area right by the spa area then some steps coming down into a nice sized pool that goes along and all this uh, landscaping and greenery that you see makes it a very private environment. And here I am downstairs. I just jumped off the balcony so that I could be down here for you, for all you. And then you can see, of course, what this goes into. We have a nice little uh, patio area down here also. So you can sit here, enjoy the Florida weather. Have a little bit of shade, especially right now. It's a little bit hot outside um, while you enjoy that view of your pool. And that really is a pretty private backyard right here. So it's pretty nice. So anyway, that's it. That's it for this video. Um, if you like this video, make sure you like it and also subscribe to our channel. And we will see you next week with a new luxury home in Florida. Take care. Bye-bye.